Hi guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll teach you guys how to create a custom My Account page absolutely free without using a single line of code. Like, share and subscribe to the channel and let's get started. So first of all, log into your WordPress site, go to plugins, add plugin and in the search bar type user registration and membership. So here you have the plugin, click on install and now activate the plugin. Then the setup wizard will appear. Now here click on get started. So here, first of all, choose the registration type. There are two types of registration, the normal registration and membership registration. You can also create memberships with this plugin. But for now, I'll continue with the normal registration setup. So click on next. Now here we have the initial setup details where our default registration form is ready to use. Our guest registration is active and our default WordPress login has been disabled and has been replaced by a custom registration form and custom login form, which we will learn how to customize it in a bit. So these are the four pages that will be already installed uh, with this plugin, which is the registration page, the login page, my account page, and the lost passport page. And we will be learning how to customize this my account page uh, for free today. Now click on next. Now here you can see some of the further setting options. So user approval and login option. This option helps control user behavior. In the drop down here, we have all of these four options. I'm going to stick to auto approval and manual login. Um, assign default user role. Now, whenever the user is filling the form, which role do you want to assign the user? Now in the drop down again, we have all of these role, administrator, editor, author, contributor, subscriber. I'm going to leave it to subscriber as per now. Now require strong password strength. Now you can determine the password strength through this button. I'm going to just turn it off for now. You can change it per your liking. Finally, restrict WordPress dashboard access. Now this means which user role do you want to disallow accessing to your WordPress dashboard? Now, once you're done setting all of these up, click on next. Now you are onto the final step where you can review all of these preferences and at the end, click on visit dashboard. Now let's go ahead and look at our my account page for which we will have to go through registration and login flow as a user. So let's go ahead and do so. As I said earlier, our website already comes with these default pages out of which let's go ahead and look at my account page for now. And here you can see. And this is how our my account profile looks like. So here you can see the dashboard where you can see all of your profile details, your profile page, your name. And here you can see the change password option and the logout option. Now, in order to change the look of this and to edit some details, you can go back to your backend and under user registration and membership, you will see this setting option click on it and in general you have this whole different my account section right here where you can make some changes so my account page which page do you want to assign as my account and then the format the layout so right now you can see it is by default onto the horizontal mode and this is how my account page looks like now i'm going to go and change it to vertical and then go down and save changes now let's go back to our my account refresh it and this is how our my account looks like i like this setup better so i'm going to leave it to the vertical settings furthermore here you can disable your profile page or disable the logout confirmation so now what exactly disabling logout confirmation is going to do so let me show you guys. If I go back and try to log out, it shows me this confirmation message. So if you disable this, it won't be showing you the confirmation message and it will directly log you out from your website. So you can simply turn on or turn off this toggle. Now that we have also made some changes to the My Account, let's go ahead and fill it up as a user for which we have to go through registration and login flow. So let's go ahead and open a incognito window. So now let's go ahead and create an account as a user. So now this is how our registration page looks like. This is how our login page looks like. And right now, since we're not logged in as a user, this is how our my account page looks like. It, it basically asks us to log in. 
So while we're on it, before I log in as a user, uh, we can also customize the registration and login form. So I'll give you a demo on how to do it. So let's go back to our backend. So here you already have a default form. Now you can add new and customize a new form from scratch, but I'll go ahead and edit the default one. So let's go to the edit option. And this is how our form is looking right now. This is our form builder area. And we have all of these fields that we can add to change the look of our form. So I'm going to add a new row to it and break it into two sections and add more fields. For example, I'm going to add the number field and the country field. As per the number field, you can click on it and change its level to phone number which is better and you can also make it required if you want i'll just leave it that way now you can update the form now if you've edited the default form like i did it is already embedded within the registration page that the plugin has already created now if you've created a new page edit the registration page and copy this short code there and you can do the same with the login form too so let's go back to all forms and let's go to login form now inside the login form you have all of these options to make changes to your settings so let's go to general and choose a form template i would choose a rounded one and allow users to log in with so what do you want your users to log in with e username or email just username just email just choose one of the settings enable or disable the remember me and lost password you can enable captcha too if needed and to configure captcha you, you can go and check the documentation of this product now scrolling a little down you can see this disable default wordpress login screen now when you have this login form it will automatically replace your default wordpress login and it will not just secure your website but you will also get to customize this all to your liking which makes it even better and in case of whatever reason if you still want to use your old wordpress login you can simply turn this toggle off and finally there are other setting options for your field labels placeholders and messages once done update the form and you are ready now that we've successfully made some customization to our login and registration page let's go back to the incognito window and complete our registration process now when you refresh it this is how your registration form looks like so let's go ahead and register alex williams alex is my name at the rate gmail.com password alex confirm password alex phone number 98 country let's go ahead and choose morocco and submit now that we have successfully registered we can go to the login page and login alex is my name at the rate gmail.com here my password was alex So after we've logged in, this is how our my account page looks like. Welcome Alex. If I want to, I can just put my profile picture here. My name, Alex William, my profile details. You can see that I would entered onto my registration form, my password. If I want to change my password, I can do so from here. And if I want to log out, I can simply from here. And this is how you can create and customize your my account page without spending a single cent now if you want to further customize this our user registration and membership pro offers a lot of extension you can go here and then check it out check out this add-on customize my account now this allows you to add the custom my account page tabs change the content give it a custom styling and so much more and in order to get this, check out the user registration and membership pro pricing page, which is linked down on the description below. And this brings us to the end of this video. I hope this video was helpful for you. Like, share, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.